Uh, Wyatt and Frankie. Frankie walked oh. away. Oh. Oh, Charlie. What are you What are you doing, Charlie? How's it going, Charlie? Tell us about your day, Charlie. What are you doing to relax? What is Charlie? Oh, Charlie. What does Charlie do to relax? And Charlie's gone too. Okay. So uh, who's at the diner? Uh, you were going to the bar. Or the bar. Um. I think Charlie was at the diner, wasn't he? Mm, no. Charlie was where you guys had breakfast. Oh, right. Yeah. But I don't know if he was still there, but I can't really ask him. Because he's gone. Um, <clears throat> so. So in the bar right now, uh, it being about three in the afternoon, uh, you're going to see Silas there. I don't know if you know who Silas is. Do you just want me to send you some pictures and you can decide if you want to talk to anybody? Sure. Okay. One second. Do, do, do. All right. Him. Him. Right now I'm in that mix. Him. Her. Him. Him. Her. And I mean, of course, him, because he's the owner. Those guys. Those are the people currently in the bar. Uh, let's, who's the top left one that looks like he has like weird scars around his eyes? That is Silas. I'll go talk to Silas. I don't think you've met Silas, so. I have not. I don't reckon. So, oh, Frankie's back. Yes, they are. Uh, he is drinking alone. And just sipping at a beer. You're just gonna go sit I'll down right with him, or are you gonna talk to him? Uh, I will go there in a minute. Okay. Hey, Frankie. Uh, do you know what's up with everybody? I mean, I know I give uh Charlie a hard time for being like a lizard person and stuff because it's funny, but it seemed like Maxine was giving him the side eye all morning and not really talking to him. We think he's probably hiding something. And he's like skeletons hiding. in a closet. Sort of. Um, a lizard he's person. Just, he's. I don't know if that's it, but with the stuff that happened yesterday, uh, we don't think he's giving us all the information, and he's not being completely truthful. And we don't know why, so. That's no problem. Those mysterious black vans that showed up, apparently Charlie had said that those were most likely his... The contacts he had for getting rid of the, um, altar... But now, um, our two friends are missing, also. Oh. And Maxine saw two vans driving away from their place. That's not good. 
and Charlie's not touching anything, so uh, they think he's hiding. Oh. Which friends Which are missing? Jason and Rachel. What? what? What do you mean they're missing? They're just gone, no sign of them. People don't just get up and disappear. They do when two black vans drive away from where you're staying. That's bad. We're pretty sure those people, whoever those people are, we're pretty sure they took them. But Charlie won't say any. Well, we gotta go find them. Well, we don't know where the... where they went, bud. How did Charlie contact them? Can't we just, like, check his phone or something? Uh, if you can get his phone from him, yes. I don't know if I can get his phone from him. Maybe he has two phones. Maybe he keeps one hidden in his room. One way to find out. We should find out. You think you think we can get him? Maybe. It's worth a shot. I don't see why not. We'll have to see what happens, because that sounds like a really bad thing, and I don't think that's okay. No, I know. Because they were, they were nice people. Yeah, they were pretty chill. No pun intended. Ah, uh, because they're frozen monsters. <laughs> hey, have you seen that guy over there? He has like weird stuff under his eyes. Hey, and he's drinking me. alone. He maybe just wants to drink alone. People do that. Adults Why? do that. Hey. You don't have to drink alone if you develop multiple personalities. Maybe he has them. <laughs> Some people just want to drink by themselves. I was doing some research this morning, and uh, if we don't feed Bigfoot, he's going to rampage through town. And where'd you learn that one? My buddy. He's the same one I found out the stuff about the red-eyed monster. Ben? Yeah. Okay. Well, you make sure that Bigfoot is well fed then, I guess. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Frankie. Uh, do you see who else happens to be in the bar? Uh... It's your bestie. Silas! That's crazy. The crazy no, guy. Not Silas. No, Zeke. That's correct. Or Goggles. Goggles is here. <laughs> okay. Maybe he'll sell you an idea. <laughs> okay. Do you want to make a new friend, kid? Yeah. Yeah. I always want to make a new friend. So, you see goggles over there? Yeah. yeah. He makes all kinds of crazy inventions. If you what? Yeah. Like all um, kind of inventions. Well, the last one he told me about... I'm gonna pull him in, like, real quiet, like it's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Can you keep a secret? Absolutely. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up again so I get the name of it right. Hold on. I think it was called Forest Wi Fi. I have Wilderness Brewer, but that's probably him. 
Oh, sorry. His description of it was forest Wi-Fi. Wilderness Whisperer was the name, yes. So it's called yeah. Wilderness Whisperer. What? It's you whisper forest... in the wilderness? It's forest Wi-Fi. What? That would be perfect for the fort. It's not quite... Nice. It's not quite right. Nice. It's not quite what you're thinking, Wyatt. Well, I mean, I don't have anything else to go for. So. Yeah, no, I know. He might be working on something else. I will have to go talk to him. Just, you know, be cool. Don't act like you're gonna steal his ideas. He's a little paranoid. Oh. I don't want to steal him. Yeah, then you're fine. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay. Uh, you wander over to his table, and even though you're a child, he immediately, just like he did with Frankie, uh, sees you coming and just like leans over the entire table and covers it. He's like, "Hey, what do you want?" Me? Hey, I'm Wyatt. How are you? I'm good. What do you want? I came to say hi. Frankie told me you were really cool. Oh. And really smart. Oh, well. Yes. And thank you. Now, what do you want? I just came to talk to you. Okay. You seemed interesting. I'm working on something. Oh. I can't I let to not anyone talk to see it. Or else they'll steal it, and I won't have the patents anymore. I don't have the patents patent? yet, but I will soon. What's a patent? Uh, it means that I can invent it, and nobody else can. I mean, if you're already inventing it, then nobody else can invent it, right? Well, if they steal my idea, then they can invent it. Well, I mean, if they steal it, then they didn't invent it. They stole it. It doesn't matter. That's not how patent law works. It's stupid. I agree. But you I can't it. let anybody steal it. Are people trying to steal your stuff? Always. Who? The government. Mm, I don't like the government. Um, anybody who sees it, really, it's so, it's pretty cool stuff. Frankie was telling me that you're awesome, and that you have a way to, like, end all of, what was it? Um, I don't think Frankie said anything about ending anything. You're gonna end all the problems for the animals in the forest. Um. Yes. Am I wrong? No. No. Yes. Kind of. Not really. It's more for it seems people. Really cool. Oh. Um. I mean, it's not for people. It's definitely for animals. It's not. Uh, you can't know what it is wait that's fine are you an investor um how much money do you got give me a second pull that wallet uh it looks like i got about 27 dollars that's not enough i need about ten thousand that's so, a lot of dollars. Yes. You'll take that $20 or $27 and times it about 5000 and then bring that back. That, that's a lot. Wait, I think I did that math wrong. Did I do that math so, wrong? Do you, do you work in the woods? Yes. Not 500? Have, have you ever seen Bigfoot? I think it is 500. Sorry. 
So 5,000 yeah. would be... Yeah, 5,000 would be 100,000. <clears throat> I mean, he can have 100,000. Um, I do work in the woods. Uh, I have seen Bigfoot numerous times. Him and I are kind of best buds, to be honest. That's cool! Yeah, he comes over and we bro down sometimes. Is it true that he loves uh, uh, peanut butter? No. He doesn't Does mind it? it. He might prefers like fruits and veggies and stuff because that's what he can actually get in the woods. Um, peanut butter is... Um, it's a way for him to pack on the pounds before he goes into his deep sleep. Oh. That's important too. I mean, yeah, he's got to sleep through the winter. Because when the winter's around, that's when the Yeti comes out and they're, they're still upset with each other. Do you like peanut butter? Probably. Because we've been feeding him and we want to make sure we're giving him the right food. Well, fruits, veggies, berries, things like that. Um, peanut butter, like I said, as we get closer to winter, that's when you should be feeding him peanut butter so he can pack on his weight and then go, go into his deep sleep. He's not, he, he's okay right now. He's not going to break down our doors and, and steal stuff, right? Uh, no, Bigfoot's sleeping right now. He's sleeping? Yeah. Then who's eating the food? I said Yeti. You've been leaving him food. <gasps> Yeti's. Mm. They're two different people. I gotta tell him that. That's that's not good. Why? Well, because Yeti sounds like a bad guy. Oh, I mean, they're just cousins. Yeti's just the winter one. Bigfoot's the summer one. Yeti will be going away right away, and then Bigfoot will come back out in the spring. Oh. Well, if they're if they come at different times, then why why don't they get along? Because they have that crossover period where they get into big fights. Oh. Twice a year. Twice. Bigfoot called Yeti's mom kind of uh, ugly, and that started the whole thing. It's not very nice. I mean, Bigfoot does what Bigfoot does. Uh, this whole uh, time, Bigfoot. as you're talking to him about this stuff, he is slowly but surely like leaning back into his chair and drinking his beer and revealing the stuff on the table. Okay. I just don't know if you want to take a look at it or not. Yeah, wait. I don't want to scare him away. Okay. But yeah, no, Bigfoot, Bigfoot, you know, he's brutally honest. And that's just how he is. But of course, you know, there are wow. multiple Bigfoots. Because how can one Bigfoot live this whole time? I didn't know. They just, they have to reproduce somehow. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah. And you remember the first Bigfoot footage that came out? That was a female. Really? Yep. Do you know, like, everything? I know a lot. Do you know my friend? Uh, who's your friend? Frankie? Finn. I met, I met them. Finn. I don't know who Finn is. I don't know. Yo, we get along. He's, he, uh, we have, oh, I'm not supposed to tell you about that. Good. Um, I like a guy who can keep secrets. This Bigfoot stuff, um, people think you're crazy if you talk about it, but I had a feeling about you. You'd, you'd enjoy it. 
I've seen monsters. You've seen monsters? Yeah. Um, sorry, one sec. Sorry, Victor and Maxine are having trouble hearing things. Um, okay. So, what sort of monsters? Uh, there was a red-eyed one. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be around anymore. Oh? What'd you do? Did you kill it? I think it got banished. Oh. I never thought of that. It's a good idea. There was this, like, rock thing, and if you break it, it goes away. Oh. Yeah, that happens with rocks sometimes. It was a special rock. Not just any rock. Hmm. Have you seen... Never mind, I can't say it. Anyway, um... I gotta get back Even working what? on this. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you later. I gotta get back working on this. Um, if you're ever, Wait, can I? Um, yeah, yeah. have you seen the ruins yet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you're ever near the ruins, go uh, west about a kilometer, and that's where I live. Okay. Uh, come and see me sometime. Maybe I'll make you something cool. That would be really cool. I like cool things. But. I think, but. You gotta bring me something. What do you need? Uh, it can be anything. Be... But it has to be anything? something that I think is cool. And something that I think I can work with. Work with how? Oh, I build things. I tinker things. I make things. Okay. Let's see what I can figure out. Uh, Victor and Maxine are frozen, so it's going to be you guys for a bit. Alright. Well, like I said, gotta get back to work. Uh, and he um, shoes you away from the table. Okay. I will move away from the table. Thanks. Bye. I'll go back over to Frankie. You're right. He's cool. He knows stuff about Bigfoot, too. I figured. You get some good info. Um, yeah, it's not Bigfoot we're dealing with. It's the Yeti. Oh. Okay. Common misconception. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, how do you deal with a Yeti? Or what are you going to do? That's a good question. Are you feeding Bigfoot? Is the Yeti um, gonna get jealous? No, the Yeti's the one's been eating the food. Mm. Rude. I know. It's not cool. It was Sounds Bigfoot's cool. food. I mean, I'd be pretty mad if someone ate. 
also probably be mad if somebody said bad stuff about your mom. That's apparently what started it. That's debatable, but I get where you're coming from. Hmm. Sorry, I'm looking for something. You can keep talking. So, talking crap about people's moms is what started... What? War between the two of them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. You know, you're getting a lot of information about Bigfoot and the Yeti. You could probably write a book. Are you being serious now? Probably. Yeah. No, I was talking to Victor and Maxine. We're back. Okay, all good. Um, while I am entertaining and listening to this Bigfoot conversation, I'm also scanning to see if like anyone else. Is, I was like, about walking. to let you know. This person walks okay. into the bar. Oh. And my said, sister. Sister. Is it? I, sister of who? Technically, Isn't she that... is a sister. The albatross girl. Isn't she Eduardo and blah blah blah's relative? Uh, she would be Eduardo's daughter, I think. Oh. Um, one second. Yeah, related to Abercrombie and Fitch. Is she the YouTube person? Yes. Yeah. I, uh, she, this is the pebble I threw in the water to see if it rippled. Ooh. Um. You know, you should. Well, hey, kid, you know, you should probably go jot down a lot of that information before, you know, to lose it. So you get it all accurate. I remember it. I remember it. Or, you know, go. I'm trying to see. To buddy. Oh, maybe it's this case. Okay, so it's Mateo's okay. daughter. Yeah, it's Mateo's daughter, not Eduardo's. Alright, so there is an Isabella. Yeah, it was the girl we were talking to at the pool last time. No. Who's this one right here? Oh, there's two Come Isabellas. On. My bad. Yep, there's two Isabellas. Excellent. Love it. Um, Maybe one's an Isabella. So yeah. Uh, she... This girl is the daughter of Mateo. Um, and you saw Eduardo and Mateo come into the bar earlier. And um, anyway. Not earlier today, but like earlier in the game. Camping, yes. Um, also, you're trying to get, you're trying to ditch Wyatt. Is that what I'm, I'm trying, trying to convince Wyatt to like go away? He's like, no, yeah. where are you going? What's Great happening? Him to go away. In a nice way. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe you should figure out what's up with that guy you noticed in the bar when we first got here. Where I was going. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you're going to talk to Silas, Wyatt? 
Yeah. And I take it, Frankie, what are you doing? I am going to attempt to not be awkward, but get Sophia's attention. You had to look at your notes for that. <laughs> I saw the look, saw the look down <laughs> before you said the name. Um, anyway, uh, so um, you're going to try not to be awkward about it. So how do you do it? Sophia! Oh, no, I'm awkward. <laughs> um, okay. So Sophia sits down at the bar and she's like, Hi, Walter. Um, it's been a bit. Can I have uh, my usual, please? And Walter's like, Yep, white wine spritz are coming right up. Okay, I got it. This is totally not gonna be awkward. But I'm gonna, like, accidentally, like, hold eye contact with her while I ask <laughs> this. I'm gonna go, Hey, Walt, do you know anyone who's dealing with an electrical problem? Oh. It's you. You seem disappointed? I mean, I mean, I was thinking it might be somebody else, but maybe, you know, it's fine. You're Some obviously not a producer or anything, so. I mean, I work for one. Okay. Does that count? Okay. Um, not really. Uh, so what can I do for you? Well, your video was one of the first ones. Uh, we saw when we first got to town and well, things have kind of snowballed from that. Being a reporter and all, I figured you'd want to know more than what your little I was video explains to me. I was not supposed to continue looking into it, so I'm still stuck here, and my dad's wanting me to get involved in the company more, so I'm not really following the reporter line anymore. You seem pretty good at it. I don't see why not. Well, thank you. But I don't always have to beat your dad once. I learned that the hard way. I mean, if I want his money, I kind of do. I mean, is and the money that important? Not to be rude or anything, but I can tell that you don't have a whole lot of it. I mean, you're not wrong. But if I'm I picking, follow yeah. along with my father's plan, I, I'm i not supposed to say this, I know. But I have... Alright. A hundred million dollars coming to me. So it's the money you're worried about, not whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you know what Definitely you can do with, grew up very different. Do you know what you can do with money? Money is what no. you use to exchange for goods and services. Goods like a Louis Vuitton bag or the the keeper knows nothing about designer stuff. I think Gucci, Dolce Gabbana, is that other stuff? Cool. Okay, there you go. Look at me go. I know nothing about designer clothes, obviously. Are we talking George's from Walmart? Because <laughs> that's a brown I know. <laughs> Amazon Basics, well, you, really you know. Interested to know the whole story, otherwise you wouldn't have shown up. I mean, it, I was coming because maybe somebody was going to make me an offer. Look, I might not be the person to 
offer you a lot of money. I could offer to pay for your drinks. That's about as far as I, I can go. But... I don't know. Our message clearly piqued your interest, and you look a lot. Oh man, I, I come up with a great awkward line, and I stuttered on even getting it out of my mouth. What was the awkward line? The... Hold on, I'm trying to like center yourself. <clears throat> Not stutter on it where I don't mean to stutter on it. Well, hmm, Louis Vuitton or not, you definitely seem a lot prettier, smarter. You look a lot smarter than you did in your video. Flattery I figured you'd only want the rest you of the so story. far. If you want to tell me the rest of the story, I'd love to hear it. But, like I, said, I meant to say pretty smart do. and then changed my mind halfway through and it just... Sure. It's fine. I have that effect on people. So, if you want to tell me the story, I mean, feel free. But, $100 million is a hard offer to beat. Alright, I'm not a super great storyteller, but I am going to try and make it as interesting of a story as possible and not just, like, sit on the, like, cliff notes of it. Okay. Okay. Um... So... The whole electrical problem seem to just be the start of things. And I don't know how much of you'll, this you'll believe, but um, I guess I'm just gonna kind of go through like like the eerie mill stuff. Um, And like the reports of this ice monster, people seeing this icy face with red eyes and a animal giggle. Um, I'll tell them Vic I'll tell Vicky's story on her like nightmare one night. In her own home, how in the her mirror in the mirror her own face like turned into this icy monster with red eyes and they're just listing off all the different things that you've come across. I'm pretty much trying to give her like the last couple of days, but as a story that's mostly around the Shadow Stalker. And how we've collected information on it going for decades and this altar and two previous individuals that anytime someone touches the altar that the creature like transfers and all of that stuff. And just as I'm going, I'm gonna just try and like gauge her reaction to it again. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot to take in. Whether or not I believe you is another question. And it well, seems like it was a little good. too good to be true, but it also seemed like you were being really honest about it. And I can't quite figure out whether you're a good enough liar to have just come up with all of that. I'm definitely not that good of a liar. I know you tried to pretend like you were calling me pretty. Uh, Look, I'm a creative, but there's no way I could have come up with all of this so, just to get your attention. What What are you wanting me to do with this, if this is the information you're giving me? But like, what, what was your actual purpose of calling me here? 
I don't know. See how dedicated you were to being a reporter, I guess. I mean, not very, but still. Or are you wanting me to, like, share this on my YouTube channel? Because it's mostly drifting to, like, fashion blogs now. Well, you clearly have a better eye for that than some people, I guess. I mean, I can't talk. I, I mean, don't fashion. If you write me a story, I'll read it, if that's what you're wanting. I honestly didn't know why I threw a rock in the water and wanted to see if it rippled, and it did, so... Again, it'd be nice if I had come here and somebody was... Some TV channel was offering me, I don't know, like... At least 20 million to join their channel, but... I have you telling me a story. I could take you to my producer, but I don't even think he has 20 mil. And he's kind of a dick, so there's that. I see. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, like I said, if you want me to read something, I'll read it for you. But I um, also have to work tomorrow, so... It was nice meeting you, kind of. It was a little Thank awkward. You. you know, that's... I'm... I'm just awkward. That's fair. I, you should try and get over that. I, um... Just didn't I've finish my drink. I kind of just tried to own it at this point. Ah. Oh, I need... I mean... I don't really give off, like... Professional businesswoman. She, like, kind of, like... Business person, but... <laughs> she kind of like uh, kinda plays like... with your hair a little bit and she's like yeah I could probably if you wanted I could make you look better um, if you I mean we're not supposed to really have people over but if you wanted to come by we might be able to uh, give you a makeover tomorrow after work of course um I'll I'll think about it. Hmm. Think hmm. think deeply about this one because I think it'd do a lot for you. The green's got to go. And she finishes oh, off her drink and walks out of the bar. Hey, green green's a great color for trees. Like trees. She's gone. I'm just yelling out, I like trees, just awkwardly in the middle of the floor. Uh, you sit down with Silas, Wyatt? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, Victor, Maxine, doing anything yet? Uh, I don't think so. It's like, coming back from the police station has been disappointing. And I believe Charlie, so... Well, if you believe Charlie, then you get to mark an experience. You can choose to not believe him as well. However, he is no longer with us, so there's not really much you can do about that. Yeah, so I guess I believe him. But I'm just... Just because of the whole evening and everything, I'm just very I'm in a I'm in a bad headspace right now, so All right. Wyatt. I don't know what I don't know what Victor's doing. Okay. Yeah. Uh you sit down with the weird looking man. Hey. Um uh, hello? How's it going? Why is your voice slowly getting higher? I'm tired, okay? You're just gonna have to deal with what I got tonight. <laughs> um are you allowed in here? Yeah, they made they made an exception. Oh, okay. Um uh, hi, I'm Silas. 
Hey, I'm Wyatt. Yeah, didn't you just say that? I might have. Um, it's good to meet you. They may have made an exception to let me drink some, too. I don't think that's allowed. And I work for the police, so definitely not allowed. You work for the police? Yeah. Okay, I was just kidding. They don't give me any alcohol. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, I'd have to report so, it to the sheriff. Yeah, that would be well. And I don't want any trouble for them. Like I said, they just let me in here because we help with uh, stuff around town. Well, I mean, they help. They let people in no matter what. It's just it's getting a little late, and I didn't know if you were allowed in here after hours, like after dark. I'm not sure. Like, they start serving only alcohol at a certain point. I don't know if that's And then I just can't buy anything. anything. Oh, okay. But, uh, I was just curious how things have been going over at the station. I know there was some craziness a while back. I... You don't? No, I don't... I don't get involved in that. I'm just the coroner. Oh. So you see all the crazy stuff then? The dead bodies, yes. Yeah. There's been a few of those recently. Yeah, we've had more than average, considering the average is generally zero. <laughs> Did you, uh, what, what, do you believe in the stuff in the... the uh, We're, uh, do I'm going to tell you right now that we shouldn't be talking about that sort of thing around here. Say that again? I'm going to tell you right now that we shouldn't be talking about that sort of thing around here. No. So you're mm -hmm. part of this whole crew that's come to town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're not going to talk about that. Um, if you'd like to talk, we can talk again, but you're going to have to come by the station. Um, I'll be there tomorrow if you want to talk, but we're not talking about it in public. And he takes oh. another sip of his drink. Okay. What do you like to talk about then? Um, I like to drink. I'm not really a talker. Um, that's why I choose to operate on dead people, not people who are alive. Oh. I just figured it was what you were good at. Oh, I'm good at it, but I also enjoy the fact that they can't respond I, oh I, I guess that means you probably want me to leave huh yes okay sorry for uh, interrupting you and making you upset I'm and not why upset it's gonna kind of slowly back away I'm not upset and it's all good have a good night and with that why just hears me yell I like trees <laughs> No one in particular. And with the trees, with we're gonna call it tonight. Sounds good. Uh, we gotta go over some questions, but I already know the answer to all of them because none of them really work for this session. <laughs> Did we conclude the current mystery? There is no current mystery. Did we save someone from certain death or worse? There was nobody yes. almost dying. Uh, Did we learn something new and important about the world? Yes. What? There is Bigfoot, and he has a cousin named Yeti, and they have a war going on between the two of them because Yeti called Bigfoot mom's fat, and it wasn't uh, ugly, it was ugly, really like not fat, ugly, ugly. Uh -huh. Um, and so that it's Yeti that's been eating all the food and not Bigfoot. I think that is super important about the world. Okay. Uh, do we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Yes. All right. So you get one experience, everyone. Uh, we learned that uh, Frankie likes trees. Oh, yeah. And also, uh, Maxine, I think, failed, failed a roll, so you also get plus one. Yeah. 
Uh, the other roll we did was an eight, so that is not a fail. So. Charlie's a big fat liar. Yep. Liar. All right. Well, hope everybody enjoyed tonight's episode of a kind of a bit of downtime. Uh, I think in the next episode we're going to be starting something anew. Um, and then uh, we'll go from there. But we will see you, everybody, next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.